welcome to this small session where i want to introduce you a little bit <clears throat> to how to study a remedy and uh, also a little bit to the third series of remedies with rajan that is about to begin on the 4th of july so what is the idea of this this series of these talks i want to just tell you you see when we study a remedy and we want to use it in our practice it would be best to study it from multiple angles this is the same approach that we take during case taking also so our case taking should match our understanding of the remedy so how do we study a case we study a case from the physical aspects pathological aspects mental aspects sensation aspects genius aspects modalities aspect miasm aspect and now we have added two more dimensions to it which are called the subclass and the superclass so we study a patient from so many angles when we want to find a remedy we should know the remedy from all these angles so that from whichever angle you look you should see that remedy otherwise you see you look from one side it looks like pulsatilla another side looks like calcarea third side looks like netramur this is not working unless you have a multi dimensional view it's like you know you have a room with an octagonal room you can say with eight windows and if you look from every window and uh, you see the same thing then you know that you are at the right point i want to illustrate this with a small remedy example you know we can take the remedy viratram album and uh, how to understand it also so first you can understand that viratram album is a remedy for collapse it is remedy with profuse perspiration etc these things you know from materia medica so we have to understand its physical aspects its characteristics and all of that and then when we go to the mind side we can study some rubrics for example the rubric despair of social position what does it mean so how to understand that here i would like to bring into this you know series my experiences and one experience i had was in the when i had to teach viratram album in the college long long many years ago i decided to take a dose of viratram album one m myself to experience to prove and then i had a dream that there was i was working for a big boss who was about to retire in a few days time and then it was his birthday just before that and for this celebration of the birthday he had brought a whole stadium full of people and i as one of his employees had to stand on stilts you know those long legs and go into the stadium dancing and then the big boss he would come out and then he would give his you know a appearance it was a very big extravagant kind of affair extravagance is a theme of viratram but what was happening here he was about to lose the boss's position in a few days he was about to lose the attention that he was going to get the limelight the kind of you know people's admiration that he was getting and as a despair of that losing that thing 
he had organized a very extravagant and where all the attention was directed towards him so this is how i understood you know viratram album just the lecture i gave the despair of social position the extravagant the egotism do you follow and what is despair despair means it's a sudden loss this sudden collapse this sudden loss of strength this suddenness indicates the acute mayas so viratram compares with belladonna stramonium hyoscyamus in acute maya sense this is what we have to understand and how can we use this in a case you see i can remember a woman who had come with a very very acute almost psychotic breakdown a very acute anxiety state and she was almost going crazy she was brought in as an acute case to me by a patient of mine she says what is happening so i'm desperate i'm this what happened and she says you know there was a circumstance in the house where <coughs> she said the husband he was going to throw me out on the street and i was just holding on i was clinging i said don't throw me don't throw me so this thing <coughs> of being excluded suddenly thrown out of the group this is a very very characteristic theme of the liliaceae family excluded and suddenly excluded is viratram and then i asked her you know the question do you do you like flowers plants etc and she said yes there's one thing i really like i like the white lily that was exactly album is white and viratram is a is a lily so it was so the practical application of this in cases and how do you see it and then comes the idea of the monocotyledons because the liliaceae is a part of monocotyledons and what is the main theme of monocotyledon it is the main theme is i me myself it's not the relation to the outside world but it's all about me when you think of paris quadrifolia when you think of crocus sativa it's all i me myself i want the attention i want to belong i i i it's all about i when you think of sacrum album he wants the attention all the time when you think of a remedy like vanilla you know what is the theme of vanilla vanilla is a theme that she buys like 500 pairs of shoes she wants wants all the attention all the extravagance all the attractiveness you see that's a proving of beautiful proving of vanilla where all this comes out you see there was a lady called imelda marcos or somebody like that or eva peron in uh, in argentina who bought thousand pairs of shoes and in india there was a chief minister called jayalalita who had like 10000 sarees or something like that all the attention on me all so you have to see this so this theme as far as the subclass is concerned it's coming in the monocotyledons it is coming in liliaceae it is coming in the rubric despair of social position it is coming in the liliaceae family which has the theme of being excluded it is coming in the acute miasm which has the theme of suddenness and sudden collapse and then it has the characteristics the cold perspiration on the forehead the extreme desire for icy cold drinks the ice etc and then there are other you know fears and this and that which we can talk about so when you see a remedy in this rounded fashion when you see it from the provings when you see it from the rubrics when you see it from the miasm when you see it from physical symptoms general symptoms mental symptoms and when you see it from clinical cases and how it expresses in the clinic then you get a very rounded and a very useful in practice idea about the remedy and i wanted to bring you know at least 50 common remedies and bring you know my experience of last 40 45 years of homeopathy with all these remedies which i have used innumerable times and show it to you from the way i look at it 
doctor this has helped me the most and if you master these 50 remedies that we are doing we already done remedies with rajan one with six i think two with six and now we are starting with three with another six so we'll continue till we finish at least 50 remedies and if this goes into you then i can tell you that a very large percentage of your patients you can identify the remedy and many times we miss remedies or we over prescribe remedies why do we over prescribe because we get stuck on some remedies and how can we avoid this over prescribing and also missing just by looking at it from all the angles and also mastering you know the clinical understanding and the cases etc etc so this is the what i want to bring to to the profession to also young homeopaths to students also and to also moderately and experienced homeopaths also they can all benefit from this clinical experience and from a multi faceted approach to remedies the other thing i want to bring into this is comparisons for example viratram lies in the sixth super class and what is the sixth super class it is a group of remedies from minerals animals and plants that have a certain dynamic a certain basic reaction in the six super class the basic reaction is like you know uh, like belladonna stramonium in the solanaceae family arnica naxomica ignatia cicuta these are in the six super class attack violent attack you see and uh, what are the remedies here we have remedies from the mineral kingdom such as platina or a mercury the sixth row of the periodic table the heavy metals from the animal kingdom we have the snakes the reptiles lachesis and other then we have lac leoninum and from the plants we have the sixth subclass of dicotyledons and the monocots six subclass is you know all the as i told you the solen ac and then the logeni ac and then the ruby ac and then the aster ac and all these remedies so if you uh, look at a viratrum patient you will see lot of comparisons to lachesis with the egotism with the loquacity with the desire for attention you see it's a lot like lachesis you will also find very close connection with platinum again because of the very high ego that they show and uh, i am the biggest i am the greatest so we have to compare all these and then of course you have to compare belladonna hyoscyamus and stramonium and then you have to compare the collapse remedies so we have to compare and then you have to compare the liliaceae remedies what is paris quadrifolia what is crocus sativa you see what is lilium tigrinum so these remedies also have to be compared you understand so i would like to compare all this also you can see where exactly viratrum comes in so these are the things i want to bring in into the you know the series into the study of the remedies and uh, i want to share with you all the experience that i have about these 50 or so remedies so that it will help you a lot so that's what i wanted to introduce you to how i study how i look at and how i would like to convey this to you